Welcome to 1440 Jack Blick Avenue in Polo Park, the new studios of Power 97, CJOB, and 99.1 Groove FM. Uh, my name is Dave Wheeler, and uh, we're going to do a quick tour. Oh, it's okay, Lauren. Come on. We're just doing a tour of the building. It's okay. You can run around. There's our web content guy right there. Um, this uh, building it used to be home for a lot of different broadcast sites, actually, CTV and uh, another radio station used to be in here at one point. So we completely gutted the entire building, took it down to the skeleton. And what you see before you now is uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, this is the sales area. Um, we have actually a really great view if you can get a shot right through the window of Canada and Stadium so you can see our proximity. And we thought, hey, great idea. Let's move next to the stadium. The stadium said, we're leaving. So that worked out really well in our benefit. Um, sales floor here, all the brass in the back. And one thing that we are really dedicated to here at uh, Chorus Entertainment is making sure that uh, people are fit and healthy. So you'll notice on our tour that not only do we have 10 kitchens, uh, we also have this uh, beautiful workout facility. And as you can tell, it's uh, getting used every day, all the time, 24-7. Uh, people just love to come in here and pump iron, Phil Aubrey especially, who needs to work on his guns daily. And then of course, we're having a gym. You have to have lockers and you have to have a shower and you have to have all the... Uh, necessities and amenities so we have uh, yes and a full shower and people just shower randomly here sometimes sometimes together uh, our sales team is very very close as a matter of fact oh yes there's another one of our beautiful kitchens as, uh, as I've mentioned we have many numerous kitchens uh, here at uh, Chorus Entertainment fancy new fridges stainless steel we finally have a dishwasher which means Rena doesn't have to do the dishes anymore which is nice one of the beautiful parts about this new building is uh, we are now moving over into the programming side. All the sales staff over there and all the programming over here. We, if you have a look in here, you can see all of our mucky mucks and our executives. Everyone wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. Yeah, that was kind of a half wave. And uh, so that's our beautiful boardroom, which uh, bridges the, uh, the sales and the programming side together. And that carpet, actually, if you can get a shot of that carpet, that carpet is actually worth $100,000. Chorus Toronto bought it, didn't like it, so they shipped it to us. And another one of our beautiful kitchens, one of the many, here at 1440 Jack Blick Avenue. I'll take you into the big uh, super duper station first. CJOB, the monster. Hey, there's Richard Cloutier. Hey guys, how's it going? Giving a tour. In the wonderful green room here. Uh, can I take you into the studio quick? There's no one in here. So this is uh, where CJOB does a show. That's where Hal Anderson does his Hal Anderson morning show from every morning from 5.30 to 9, and then Richard Cloutier follows him. But you can see the, the, the premier actually sits right over here when he does his show, as does the mayor. You know, yeah, we are very technical here. All of the, uh, the video cameras, which uh, uh, go to Shaw, so they can broadcast Hal Anderson's morning show in the morning. Uh, and everything in this building is state-of-the-art. That's one thing that's really cool about, um, about this building now is that we are completely digital. There is no analog left anywhere in this building. Maybe a few things here and there, maybe the odd tape machine, but... Now we're going to get out of Richard's way so we can continue the show. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy, enjoy. You see Jeff Braun getting his news ready. Actually, I believe he's in the middle of the news right now. One of the many news booths. Over here we have our sports department, and I think we might be able to... There's Bob Irving right there, looking youthful as always. There's Bob Irving. I'm Bob. I thought it was Brian Munns, but you have too much hair to be Brian Munns. <laughs> That's... The that's the sports department over there, moving into the, uh, the, they have to be really quiet because they're trying to get all the news together. They're all very important people over here, and they all have their own, there's Barry Burns right over there. <laughs> Hi. Legendary broadcaster here in Winnipeg. Hal Anderson over in the corner. If we can sneak up on him. Hal. Hal. I have no time. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're giving a tour with Christy. I especially have no time for Wheeler. <laughs> How about Christy? Uh, yes, yeah, so I always tempt for, I always tempt, uh, I always have, <laughs> see what happens when we work together? 5.30 to 9 on this, CJOB. This is why I quit and went on my own. <laughs> yes, I always have time for Chris D. <laughs> ZA. There. And scene. <laughs> hey, Mike. Moving down the hallway, I, uh, you'll notice some of the lovely design that we have here at Chorus Entertainment, trying to make a little bit, uh, a little bit more presentable than our old digs at 9.30 Portage. <laughs> and we move over here into the Power 97 area of, uh, of uh, 1440 Jack Blake Avenue. 
Um, this is the jock lounge where we sit and chill out and we can catch up on some TV. Great spot to watch sports actually, by the way, on our beautiful 50-inch uh, television. And again, another kitchen because we got to stay uh, Got to stay fueled up for our shows. In here we have our music director, Casey Norman, who actually has a window Hello. for the first time. Christy.ca, you want to say hi to Chris? Hello, Chris, and Winnipeg in general. And then over here, the, oh, he's not even in here. Now this is, this is strange because usually Matt is always here. He's always sitting in his desk working hard. Not really. But anyway, this is the boss's office, uh, the program director of Power 97. Not here, as usual. And then moving over into the on-air studio, we'll go bother Jim Jones, and I think actually Philly and Rena may still be in there. Oh, this is perfect. This is how dedicated we are as a staff. Phil Aubrey is actually, uh, he, Phil Aubrey, morning show uh, co-host, as well as HR, as well as janitor. Janitor too? Yep. This is what I do after the show every day. See, Phil, you were supposed to do all of the uh, all of the mopping up before we got here for, for, for the tour. Well, I, was I didn't know when you guys were coming in. I'm trying to get it looking good, and... Not bad. Rena, I thought mopping was your job. <laughs> He's vacuuming. Yeah, well, vacuuming, right. Really, and, Rena, come finish this off. And Jim Jones over in the corner. Jimmy. I'm supervising. Right. It's looking good, guys. Yeah. Doing a fine job. Jimmy, your favorite part of the new studio? Right here. You got them windows. Ten years in a basement. Such a nice this wall This is the best part. Yeah, it's a great view. It is. You can see the, uh, the storage room for the women's clothing at the bay. <laughs> And so again, as I mentioned, everything's digital in here. I, for some reason, we have nine monitors because monitors are very important in radio. And uh, that pretty much uh, wraps up our very boring tour. I, I could take you over to Groove. Let's go take you over to Groove. We'll go over to Groove, 99.1 Groove FM real quick. It's like my microphone. <laughs> Your it suits you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you broke it. This is Evan Serminski, our uh, one of our, our imaging producer at Power 97. Evan, you want to uh, you want to tell Christie.ca about uh, your new digital studio? Uh, well, everything is completely digital here. Um, we've uh, gone from the analog way of doing things. Now uh, I can pretty much access any microphone in uh, the entire building, <clears throat> um, bring it up right in here, and record what I need to, and send it wherever I can. And don't have to use CDs anymore. <laughs> Now, do they do all that because uh, they pay you the most around here? I like to think so. And they gave me the biggest studio, too. Absolutely. See, and you can tell he has a nice window <laughs> in here somewhere. It was in here. It's right, all right there. Well, you can kind of see outside if you look there. Yeah, sure. No yeah. A lot of our wonderful photos up here. These are all concerts that uh, we presented here in Winnipeg. And uh, the wonderful, talented Dan Harper, danharperphotography.com, took all of these photos and uh, displaying them proudly. Many more to come. U2 coming up. We got uh, Rock on the Range again coming. So lots more pictures will be going up on the wall very, very soon. And of course, uh, Gene Simmons. We put that up there to remind ourselves that uh, we're not making money for ourselves. We're all making it for Gene Simmons. That's all. The only reason why we're here. And then finally, over to uh, 99.1 Groove FM. And there's the wonderful, talented Russ Tyson, who you can hear every morning on 99.1 Groove FM. Hi, Russ. Hi. How's, how's your day? Hal, Hal Anderson mornings, 5.30 to 9.00 CGOB. <laughs> Shameless. Sorry, Shameless. Russ. I interrupted Russ. You can listen to him too if you want. This is the 99.1 uh, Groove FM studios, and uh, they are currently uh, voice tracked for the better part of uh, the lunchtime. But again, all completely digital studios. As you can tell, all the boards are pretty much the same. These are the new Wheatstone boards. We're actually the first in... Uh, North America, from what I understand, to uh, to actually have these uh, these beautiful boards, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of a bit of a transition going digital, but uh, it's working out so far. Our engineers have done an amazing job. Uh, Jack Hapner, who just recently passed away, was the uh, uh, spearhead of this whole initiative, and uh, got us all digital. And John Wall and Mike Gaiason and uh, Daniel Kogan, they uh, they all uh, got us up to speed on the digital process. So there you go. We're downloading too now. And that pretty much wraps up the tour of uh, beautiful 1440 Jack Blick Avenue, again, uh, right here at Polo Park. Uh, hopefully you stop by someday, win some prizes. But uh, other than that, if this is an episode of Cribs, this is the part where I guess I, uh, I kick you out and say goodbye. Security's here to, to escort you out. Bye-bye. <laughs>